EMT service not renew the current contract with a private company that they've been using. News 10 ABC's Tamara Starr has more on the city's response and possible next steps. At tonight's city council meeting, the Cohoes EMS task force explored three different emergency models before recommending that the local fire department take on all EMT services. And municipalities, I think, are no different. And so we're finding a, a larger call volume. And what do we do with that? And how do we handle it? The proposed model will take three years to implement. We have a contract with ambulance for both ALS and BLS ambulance through April. So I would imagine the timeline would begin in April with a slow transition over the next three years. Even after the task force gave its presentation, not everyone was on board. Like Cohoes Mayor Bill Keeler, who says that this has been an issue for the last year and says by not using this private company, the city would need to hire more firefighters than they already have. We've done the math on it. It costs twice as much for the city of Cohoes to run a fire department ambulance as it does, you know, for the ambulance that's in there now. According to the proposal, if they keep the private contractor ambulance, they keep paying the company $1.1 million per year versus if the fire department handles the EMTs, the proposal says the city will be losing around $47,000 per year. Lifelong Cohoes resident Sean Van Sleet, who works at a local school, says the fire department literally saved his life. And they didn't give up on me, thank God. And I'm here today because they made it from the firehouse on Bleach Street to Harmony Hill School in uh, around four minutes. In the meantime, the council will have from now until April to come up with a decision on whether or not to renew the contract with Ambulance. It's a close-knit community, and uh, I just hope that the mayor goes along with this, and it can be done, and uh, our sister city, Water Elite, does it with the same amount of firemen. So if they can do it, we can do it. Reporting in Cohoes, Tamara Starr, News 10 ABC.